Hey guys, so sorry for being like 100% really up in the camera, but um, it's really, really dark outside. I'm right in front of a window and you can't even tell. So when I back up a little bit, it makes everything very dark. So I'm trying to lean a little bit forward, really be in the camera to show you guys, um, you know, to kind of get a little bit of light, basically. But um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys my most reach for MAC lipsticks. MAC has always been, um, their lipsticks has been like the one thing in their line that I always go back for. Whenever there's a collection, the first thing that I check out are the lipsticks. I don't know why, I just have a little bit of an obsession with MAC lipsticks. So I am going to be doing a video on my top favorite um, red lipsticks, coral lipsticks, pink lipsticks, and nude lipsticks. But I figured um, first I'd like to do a video on just like my most reached for MAC lipsticks. And these aren't really crazy colors because they're the type of colors that I reach for more on a daily basis. But um, again, if you want to see my favorite colors in every category, I will pick like my top three in every um, color category and do a whole nother video on that. So again, just for this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the ones that I use the most out of my whole collection, which is pretty big now. So right now I'm showing you guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. So that's, it was pretty hard to narrow it down, but I think I did a pretty good job. Um, when I do wear my MAC lipsticks, these are the ones that I reach for the most. So, first one that I want to tell you guys about is Up The Amp. And this is a lipstick that you haven't really seen me wear a lot um, here on YouTube because I like to wear a little bit more natural makeup, especially when I film during the daytime. But this is a lipstick that I wear a lot when I go out at night. And this is what it looks like. And it's a really gorgeous purpley pink color. It's more on the dark side, um, but it definitely has that berry stained look. So I'm going to swatch right here on my hand for you so you guys can see it and it's a really really pretty color when you go out at night especially during um, the winter time when there's a lot of holiday parties and stuff like that this is a color that I love to reach for because it really it just it's like um, a statement a lipstick statement um, when I wear this lipstick I don't like to go too dark on the eyes because it is really bright and out there but I love it because a lot of girls will usually wear um, you know, focus more on eye makeup. When you put this on, you can just wear like a gold smoky eye or a really light natural bronze eye. Anything really will look great with this. So that is my first pick. The second one is Pink Plaid. I'm not sure if this one was limited edition or not, but I love this color so much. It's really um, another berry type color, I guess you could say, but it's a really mid-tone pink. It's matte. I don't really like colors with shimmer and, and stuff in them. I, you'll notice that I mostly reach for cream colors. So this is what pink plaid looks like, and this is a lipstick that I wear on a daily basis, especially for work and school, because it's really light. It kind of looks like your lips, but better. It plumps them up. Um, again, it, it's not a lot of shine and not a lot of shimmer, so it looks really natural on the lip. And that's what that looks like. So I use this one a lot. And I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not. I hope it's not. Okay, the next one is Honey Love. And this is another matte color. And this is um, more on the nude side. But it's kind of like a peachy brown nude. But not one that makes you look dead. Um, which is another one that I'm going to mention here now that I like to use for mixing. But this one you um, I can use just alone. It's called Honey Love. And um, it's a really pretty pale nude color with like a peachy undertone is how I would describe it. Um, definitely if you mix this with a pink lip liner or a purple lip liner or a peach lip liner, it really picks up the colors of the lip liner. So you can really achieve a couple of different looks with this um, lipstick in particular. So that's why I love it. It's kind of like a little chameleon lipstick. But usually when I use this one, I use like a peach lip liner with it um, or MAC strip down liner. And it's really, really pretty, natural looking. I use it a lot during the summertime. I don't know why I like to wear nudes mostly during the summer. And then more bright colors during the um, the winter time. So next one is Blankety. And this is an amplified cream. And this color is actually pretty similar to um, the last one. And this is what it looks like there. It kind of looks like Honey Love, but with a little bit more of a peachy mauve color and this one I love the only thing I don't like is that since it's so moisturizing it doesn't last long on me that's the one downside so that's that one right there and it's a really pretty um, mauve toned nude very, very like a dusty pink I would say so that's that one oops 
I almost knocked it down. Next one is Snob. And this is another lip gloss lipstick that I like to use when I go out because it's a little bit bright for daytime, I think. Um, it's a very blue-based pink. And it's brightness. I can't really pick it up on camera. Probably if I swatch it, you'd be able to see a little bit better. But um, right there, it's very blue-based. If you have used that pink pout um, by Revlon, it's like five times more opaque than that one and really obvious on the lips a very bright um pale baby pink color but it really it's super super opaque so um it's very in your face and you can see most of these colors are in the same type of um family but this one definitely stands out it's very blue based so that's that one two more lipsticks the next one is actually by the Blooming Lovely collection, so that's why the packaging looks different. And this one is kind of like a pale purple pink. It's not a pink purple, it's a purple pink. Because um, it's definitely more purple than it is pink. But it's as you can see, it's not as quite purple as Up the Amp is, but it is pretty purple. Um, I wore this a lot during the springtime. I don't know, like during Easter and... Um, Holidays like that, I like to use more of like that pastel lip color. But usually this is one of the lipsticks that I would mix. So that's why I saved my last lipstick for last. Um, and it's called Myth. And I don't like to use this on its own because it will make you look like your lips are white. But I like to use this as a mixing lipstick. So I will swatch this last. And it's so, so white. It's like basically concealer in a lipstick form. But I like to mix this with any of these lipsticks because it will change the consistency of them. It will make them obviously more of a pale color. Um, but especially like I would mix this with Blooming Lovely and Up the Amp. It really changes the way that the lipstick looks. So you can really um, have a lot of versatility out of your lipsticks by adding this one to your collection. Also when I do like a red lip, I like to put this one right in the middle like right here. Just like that, and then right under the cupid's bow. And then, of course, blend it out. And it really makes your lips look a lot more full. Um, so this is this can act like a highlighter for your lips. So I definitely had to throw this one in there. When I first got this lipstick, I was like, oh my god, concealer. I could use a concealer on my lips and get the same exact look. But actually, now that I learned to use it as a mixing lipstick, I don't feel like it was a waste of money in it. This is actually my second tube. So, um... I heard that this is kind of like Peach Stock from MAC, which I don't have and I do want to pick up because I heard Peach Stock was a little bit more wearable for that really, really super nude, um, pale lip look. So I might pick that one up because this one I definitely can't wear on its own. But again, like I said, it's a great mixing lipstick. Um, and then the one last, I don't wear lip glosses. If you guys follow my videos, you know I don't like the look of shine or gloss or shimmer on my lips. But one product, the only product that I will use on my lips that's kind of like a glossy type of finish is MAC's um, Tinted Lip Conditioner. And this is my favorite one. It's by the Hello Kitty line and it's called Pink Fish. And how adorable is that? And this is actually what it looks like. A really pretty bubblegum pink color. And this actually, you know, it makes it's very opaque so it makes my lips kind of look like this color and I love it it's very very moisturizing uh, it's not sticky at all it's pretty long-lasting so the tinted lip conditioners from MAC are definitely a hit I love their tinted lip conditioners and this is my favorite a lot of time I will use this under a lipstick um, and it kind of will sheer out the lipstick that I put on top and give it a really pretty um, pink rosy glow underneath so yeah those are my favorite um, MAC lipsticks as you can see, again, most of them are pretty similar, mostly uh, pinks, a couple nudes, and a couple of dark purpley pastel colors. So these are the most colors that I reach for on a daily basis. If I was going on vacation and stuff and I just had these lipsticks, I'd be absolutely fine. Probably would throw in a red lipstick in there. If it was around the holiday time, the only time that I uh, can pull off a red lip, I feel, is around Christmas time or New Year's Eve with like a, a gold eye or a neutral eye. Other than that, I just feel like I look like a clown with red lips. But I want to find like that perfect red lip color so I can add that to my collection. 
But I do have a couple from MAC that I do want to talk about, but I'm going to save that for my video. Uh, again, where I mentioned my favorite reds, my favorite pinks, my favorite nudes, and my favorite corals. So I just wanted to mention that really quick. And in case you are wondering what I have on my lips now, it is not from MAC. It's actually from um, Revlon Colorstay Lipstick, and it's called um, Cozy Coral. And then obviously I put a little bit of that myth right in the middle uh, on the video. I didn't have that on before the video. But that's it, guys. Um, those are my recommendations. Those are my favorite ones. You can't go wrong with any of those. Uh, if you want to reference, my skin color from MAC right now is around NC35. So I definitely feel like any of those colors would um, suit NC35 skin tone. And also, my one li I, I'm not a big lip liner girl. I kind of stick with just one, and that's usually MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. It's my favorite one because it's kind of like almost my lip color. It's very nude uh, pinkish brown color so that's what I feel I put that on a little bit very lightly before any of these lipsticks and I feel like it, it goes perfect with any of them so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my recommendations and try them out let me know your favorite MAC lipsticks and if you use any from my little pick selection area thing so um, yeah I'll see you guys soon bye